To create this design, you need to add a cylinder with 32 words. Then go to the edit mode, select everything and use the insert operation and make sure that individual origin should be on. Then extrude along the normal. Then turn on the extreme mode and deselect these edges. Then control B and add bevel on these edges. Add one segment bevel. Then select everything and merge by distance. Then select this edge and then press shift G and select similar. Then deselect these edges and then control B add bevel on them. Add two segment bevel and shape factor should be one. Then select these edges and then press shift G face angle. And then select these edges also and shift G face angle. Now deselect these edges and then control B add bevel on them. Add a two segment bevel, shape factor should be one. Now here we need to create a right topology. Select these words and then connect them. Dissolve these edges, connect these words. And then select these words and merge them at the center. Like this. Then dissolve these edges in this way. Then add one word add there and then add bevel on the word. Then connect these words. Then use the knife tool and create this kind of cut. Then dissolve this edge. Like this. Pretty simple. Now select these face loops and delete them. Select these words and connect them and delete that face. Then take the symmetry along the z-axis. Then select these faces and then press P to make a separate object. Now rotate this object into 5.63 degree angle. Then apply the rotation and take the symmetry. Then select everything merge by distance. Then add the sub modifier and shear smooth it. Now add loop cut like this, scale it along the z axis, then add bevel on this edge loop. Then use the knife tool and create this kind of slant cut. Then dissolve these edge loops. Then select these edge loops and add bevel on them. Then select these faces and use the insert operation. And then right click breach faces. Then use the knife tool and create this kind of slant cut to create supportive edges. Then add a center edge loops like this. Then select these edge loops and add bevel on them. Then add more supportive loop cuts. Then select these faces, use the insert operation, uncheck that individual option, then decrease the scale and then use the loop tool circle option. And use the insert operation and breach faces. Then select these edge loops and control B add bevel on them. Then select this center edge loop, use the set plot on it. Then select these words and move them along the y axis to maintain the curve. Then select these words and merge them at the center. And then dissolve these edges. Then merge these words at the last. So you can get a loop structure. Then select everything and shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into 11.25 degree angle. Then select everything and shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into 22.5 degree angle. Then select everything and rotate it into 45 degree angle and complete the cylindrical form and then use the merge by distance. You will get this kind of cylindrical form. Now select the stop edge loop, press F to fill the gap, use the insert operation, then use the insert operation one more time, and then use the bridge faces. Then select these edge loops and add bevel on them, like this, and add a few more loop cuts. And in this way you can get this kind of cylindrical hard surface design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video, take care.